Hey, Psych2Goers, don't you just love love? Loving someone is an exciting thing and being loved back is even more so. But what if your partner hasn't said those magical three words yet? Maybe there are a few things you could do to get them thinking about adding those three words to their vocabulary with you. Well, there may just be. Here are seven things to make someone fall in love with you. Number one, make eye contact. Lovers simply love making eye contact. Who doesn't want to gaze endearingly into the eyes of their sweet love? Keeping strong eye contact is a common behavior of couples who love each other. According to a study from former Harvard associate professor Zick Rubin, lovers who rated high on his love skill test spent significantly more time looking into each other's eyes. Couples who ranked as weakly in love, on the other hand, didn't spend as much time gazing into their partner's eyes. If you start to spend more time looking into your partner's eyes, their brain may just get the right idea about love with you. Many may already relate to this sweet gaze with love. After all, the last time they were staring off into someone else's eyes this much, they were in love. Plus, having great eye contact is often seen as an attractive trait, as it can often make one appear confident. Number two, share a passion. A couple that shares a passion together will likely relate to their partner more. Talk with them about it and spend time doing those interests together. This means more time for bonding and the inevitable falling in love. I mean, just sharing a passion won't get them to fall in love with you. You need a strong and healthy relationship first, but it could move them towards those feelings. If you don't have as many interests, try starting a new hobby together. Fall in love with both it and each other. Number three, spend time with them. You probably already had this one in mind. I mean, if you love someone, you wanna be around them. In any healthy relationship, it's important to give each other a healthy amount of time and attention to grow as a couple. It's also a good idea to show your partner you're there for them when they need you most. But just being around someone more often may have them feeling all lovey-dovey for you in no time. According to the psychological study by R.B. Jezonk, the mere exposure effect is a psychological phenomenon in which people find themselves preferring someone or something simply because they developed familiarity with them. When a person is repeatedly exposed to a certain stimulus, that person develops familiarity with the stimuli and therefore prefers its presence. And they may even love your presence too. Number four, be a true friend. At the base of a healthy relationship, there is friendship. If you want someone to love you, your relationship needs to ride on more than just romance and passion. A good friend that listens and cares at the end of a long day is something many would enjoy. So it's best to work on your friendship with them as well as your romance. Number five, bring them food. Food? Yeah, giving food to your partner may just make them feel something more for you, according to a study published in the journal Frontiers of Psychology. The study suggests that food offering thus provides a way of coping with distress and empathic concern, as well as an effective means of offering social support resulting in increased positive effect across interaction partners and an increase in interpersonal closeness. Basically, buy them a burger and fries along with your roses. It shows them that you care. Number six, love them. I mean, you do love them, right? It's important that you don't simply just desire the feeling of being loved, but actually love your partner back. If you want someone to love you, you need to first ask yourself, do I love them? or are you just craving the perks of feeling loved? Reciprocated love is the best kind. And number seven, love yourself first. If you want a strong and healthy relationship, the best thing you can do is to love yourself. You want someone to love you, but do you give yourself enough love? It's important to practice self-love, self-appreciation, and the act of caring for yourself. If you are content and happy with yourself first, it will only give off confidence and an aura that will attract your perfect partner. So remember, even if your partner doesn't end up falling in love with you, you can always fall in love with yourself. So, are you in love? And do you have a hunch that your partner is in love with you too? Tell us in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your partner. They may just love you for it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.